After the loss to Bama, who they gained a season low 115 rushing yards, Aggies have got that running game going over their past three, gaining over 180 yards each. In three seasons under head coach Jimbo Fisher, Aggies 19 and 1 when rushing for at least 150 yards, 2 and 9 when held below that mark. So I don't even need to ask head coach Jimbo Fisher who joins us now, how important a running game is as they get set to take on South Carolina 7 Eastern ESPN. And Coach, year three in College Station, how would you describe the growth of the program with where you want it to go? Well, I think we're definitely heading the right direction. We've got some great young recruiting classes, very talented young players, and our older guys have really matured being in the program for three years uh, physically, mentally, and what we're trying to do, how we're doing it, and how to compete in practice. And uh, we're, we're making strides each and every day. Kellen Mond, he's, he's been a huge reason why. He's developed nicely this season, have a really, really good season. What has he done in grasping this offense? Well, I think there's two things. One, his grasp and his maturity. There's nothing like experience. He's been through a lot of situations. He totally understands protections, run checks, our numbers game, what we're trying to do, and angles that we're trying and what we're trying to get accomplished. And then I think the guys around him have grown. I mean, our offensive line is playing well, so when you're balanced and you can run the football, you don't see as many things. Our protection's been really good, and he's done a great job of getting the ball out, processing our receivers and tight ends, getting open, and all that. And it's just been an accumulation of everything over time, in my opinion. What would your former quarterback say is the hardest thing about being a quarterback for Jimbo Fisher? Uh, that's a great question. I mean, we, we carry a large volume of things. I, I maybe – the demanding of practice, you know what I mean? We try to put a lot of pressure on guys in practice. But, uh, you know, we have, I have a very good relationship with all those guys, so I guess they could answer that better than us. But we try to make sure the games are, are not as hard as practice and, and the things in which we do and, and the situations we put you in as much as we can and, and the pressure we put you in. Look, coaches are going to admit every year there's kind of that win that jump starts the season. How pivotal was the Florida win? Well, I think it was very pivotal that we played two games that we didn't play as well as we needed to against talented teams. But at the same time, there was a lot of promise in there when you really saw why the mistakes were happening. They weren't physical mistakes and things that we couldn't do and just technique things that we had to get ironed out and make sure we took care of the ball in some situations. And our guys built off that, and they stayed true to them and believed in what they had to do and played a tremendous game against Florida and then have carried that on. And like you say, it's just – a matter of once those things click, that hopefully they can stay there, and then that's going to be the big challenge this week. You know, we're short week with practice and things we have, and uh, it's going to be a huge challenge going over to South Carolina. They've had a week off, so they'll have a lot of preparation for us. They'll be very physical. Will's a heck of a football coach, and, uh, you know, they're going to be prepared. You know, to even get to that point to Saturday, Coach, there are so many daily COVID protocols. Can you walk me through what it takes to actually get to a game on Saturday? Constant awareness is the best way I can describe it. You have to be aware of every situation you're in, every person you come in contact with, wearing your mask, keeping the spacing, and then the multiple testing. We know we test Sundays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays of every week. Matter of fact, I just got a test here about five minutes ago and uh, before we got on here. So, I mean, it's just, but it's a constant awareness of everything you're around so you don't put yourself in a bad situation. All right, understanding the necessity of the mask, we're, we're not arguing that. How long did it take for you to get used to yelling at officials and players masked up on game day? The yelling came easy, but <laughs> they couldn't hear it as bad. So, uh, <laughs> you know, the biggest thing is I've gotten older. The thing I had to make sure I found a mask because I, I have to wear reading glasses. As he getting a mask, it doesn't fog up my glasses. That was the biggest problem I was having in the beginning. <laughs> might, might you go the the face shield? Those are trendy right now. They are, but we found a mask. I think it's got enough air in it, and the one I've been wearing the last game or two, that it's worked pretty good. There you go. Making masks trendy as Jimbo Fisher and AM. One of those trendy pick to clicks right now as we get to the back part of the SEC season. South Carolina, Saturday night, 7 p.m. right here on ESPN. Coach, we really appreciate your time. Hey, right, great to be with you guys. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.